Hey, yeah. SRP Landscape Design here with another render uh, setting tutorial. Today we are working with this uh, back porch uh, of this Scandinavian cottage or country house. And the shot we're looking for is overcast, a uh, cloudy shot. So let's start by creating our base uh, render. And we'll make a copy of the same shot for our effects. I'm going to use uh, one of the Lumion 9 presets called Overcast to select the majority of uh, our effects that we will need today. And I'm going to uh, choose a couple of more real skies. And from the same tab, precipitation. So let's start uh, with the precipitation straight away. As you can see, there is a couple of uh, uh, rain particles or raindrops in there and I do not want that so I'm going to move the particles quantity all the way down and the particles size as well so they will all disappear I'm gonna keep it in the rain but I'm going to move the precipitation face towards uh, to the right towards this end as you can see uh, there is a couple of puddles in here and the water is uh, slowly disappearing well I still want a couple of more water puddles in here and also on the edges of the porch so I'm gonna keep it around uh, around this value that we have in here so we are done with the precipitation moving on to real skies obviously I'm going to change this one for one of the overcast presets I'm gonna pick the last one now I can keep the heading uh, pretty much the same because we cannot uh, see the sky as you can see in here. But I'm going to change the brightness just a little bit and the overall brightness uh, down. So I get a slightly a bit of a contrast in here. So we are done with the real skies. Moving on to fog, that is quite uh, important. I want quite a lot of fog coming from, uh, from the valley or from the mountains uh, behind. So let's bring up the, the density. Let's bring the fog towards the house. As you can see, it is already crawling in. It cannot be seen uh, too well. So I'm going to bring the, the brightness up somewhere around here and the, and the color as well. Okay. Let's see with the, with the fall off. Perhaps remove the fog just a little bit back. All right. Looks fine to me. Uh, moving on to our next effect. As you can see, the sky and clouds is disabled automatically when you use a real skies. I'm going to disable the sun as well. We don't need that because we're going to use only the light coming from the real skies. Uh, sharpening to bring up the intensity just a little bit. That is enough. Next stop exposure, always use as last color correction. Now here we have uh, exterior shot and it is uh, pretty foggy. So uh, the temperature should be uh, quite cold. That means I'm going to bring it down a little bit, perhaps the tint as well. So we're going towards the blue spectrum. Uh, quite cold colors, uh, vibrance. Uh, I'm gonna keep it down because it is very diffuse light and the colors would be uh, quite uh, dim. So uh, I'm going to bring the brightness up and the contrast uh, down. Once again, the light is very diffuse, diffused, so the, there shouldn't be any uh, strong or sharp shadows in here. Everything should be bouncing from all of these uh, surfaces in here. And the saturation down as well, perhaps not the colors would not be bright at all so we are done in here with the color correction moving on to reflection we have only one reflective surfaces in here that's the glass door in here so we'll select that turning on the speed ray reflections and we are done with this effect it's pretty uh, easy and straightforward hyperlight don't have to work with that one too much there's a little bit of light that is mostly for the interior, so we see something inside the interior as well. Uh, skylight, now this is uh, important. Uh, I'm going to bring the brightness, since we are working only with the skies, uh, the light coming from the skies. So I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit, 
and the saturation down just a bit as well. So we get a nice bounce from all of these uh, surfaces and also from the back porch on, uh, on this uh, part of the house. Moving on to our next effect, shadows. Once again, very diffuse light uh, coming from all, all directions, which means the coloring, uh, obviously, I want it cold, so we're going this way. And the brightness, the brightness goes, uh, goes up. I don't want any sharp shadows and the omni shadow as well. So in those corners, you don't see a uh, <coughs> huge difference in between uh, those uh, surfaces where they meet. Uh, turning on the soft shadows on and fine details as well, especially the soft shadows from the diffuse light are important. Next up, chromatic aberrations. This is already set up from, from Lumion, but I always like to bring the dispersion down just a little bit. I think that is enough. And depth of field. Now I'm gonna keep the, this main portion of the house, the back por porch, in, uh, in focus and I want the background obviously because it's basically all foggy and a little bit of the foreground out of focus but mainly the background so I'm going to uh, to select uh, somewhere around here the distance of my focus confirm turn it on the autofocus it will measure the distance from my point and now I'm going to move the, uh, the foreground and background slider towards the background and the amount increase and as you can see the background is going out of focus so I'm going to bring it somewhere around here just a little bit down so I get uh, a little little blur in here on these uh, twigs and uh, the plants perhaps even the chair just a little bit somewhere around here as you can see it's getting out of focus but this is nice and sharp the main portion will stay nice and sharp and that's what we want so we are done in here and now we can come back to uh, to the exposure. Let's see if we need to adjust, perhaps just a little bit uh, up to get more light uh, in here. And I think we are pretty much done with the effects in here. So let's uh, go ahead and start our final uh, render. And that is all for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.